Hi, it's Dwyer, RichardDwyer.com, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, today is May the 30th, 2017. Let me just point out that you have a tremendous, absolutely tremendous investment opportunity right not speculation but investment opportunity in the world of cryptocurrency understand we're still in the top half of the first inning in terms of cryptocurrencies emergence on the world markets now cryptocurrency has been widely misunderstood widely misreported understand this is one of the major inventions of our time it represents the decoupling of the real economy from the government controlled one you're talking about a paradigm shift here it's a move away from centralized banking <clears throat> so the dominant paradigm in American economics from a government policy perspective Keynesian economics will no longer be possible right the central banks will no longer be able to prime the pump by money printing right if you have decentralized cryptocurrency being used by a significant portion of the population Right? Should that happen, you're talking about markets determining things like interest rates, not the Federal Reserve. Right? You're talking about a move away from a controlled economy to more of a free market economy where people can disintermediate banks. Think about it. If I owed one of you money right now, I might actually take out a check, right? I bank at this bank, right? I would take out a check with the bank's name on it, and I would write a check to you. Then, of course, when you get the check, you would cash the check. The check would necessarily go to my bank, and money would come out of my account. The bank gets a cut. Every month I'm paying banking fees <clears throat> or I'm satisfying certain criteria that guarantees a profit to the bank. Right? I'm maintaining a balance in my checking account of X so that I save on the banking fees. Well, what if that bank was no longer part of the transaction? What if I could, in a few keystrokes, send you the money electronically directly what if that money could actually clear almost instantaneously by the way the technology allows for that now perhaps you've heard of dash cryptocurrency my personal favorite or privix right p-i-v-x understand the cryptocurrency technology literally obviates the need for banks on most transactions. Once you have the maturation of smart contract technology, you'll be able to do a lot of contracts on the blockchain using Ethereum, another cryptocurrency that you need to know. So understand, this change is taking place now. The technology is ripe because of the proliferation of things like smartphones, uh, laptops that can connect to the internet. This wasn't possible before the internet gained widespread usage. It is now. So, let me just point to three developments that you need to know about that you could profit handsomely from right now. The first one is that the concept of an altcoin and that's all of the coins other than Bitcoin is vanishing. Understand for the second day in a row, 
Ethereum has actually generated more market volume at stretches of time than has Bitcoin. Right? Bitcoin's been the granddaddy. We've assumed that it was Bitcoin and then the rest of the world. Right? The original and then these alternative coins, altcoins. What we're going to find out shortly as the market matures is that Bitcoin is just one coin in the cryptocurrency universe. And you, the consumer, have to pick and choose. And you're going to find out that a lot of these coins are becoming more widely and widely accepted by merchants and the providers of goods and services. So Ethereum is now becoming more widely used in terms of volume than Bitcoin. You need to consider Ethereum. You need to consider the reasons why Ethereum has gained in popularity. You need to consider Ethereum the same way you would consider Bitcoin. In fact, right now, you have $36 billion. That's the market cap sitting in Bitcoin, right? All of the people holding the $36 billion are aware of cryptocurrency. They're in a cryptocurrency, right? Just consider the possibility that some subset of that $36 billion who already are acclimated, you know, just psychologically, mentally, to owning and using cryptocurrency. Just imagine if that group now is in play. If that group is going to go from saying, well, I have to be in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the big coin. Right? Just imagine if that group segues to a different thought process of, well, which coin has the best features? Which coin has the greatest privacy? Which coin has the greater ease of use? Now let's talk about a second development, right? The first is the vanishing of the altcoin concept. You actually have a cryptocurrency universe. Some of the best products have lower market caps right now because the word is just getting out. Understand, even companies like Amazon at one point had smaller market caps as the world got to know the company. So, apart from the vanishing of altcoins and the realization that there is a crypto currency universe out there and I would encourage people who want to see a listing of coins and their market caps as well as their market volume over the last 24 hours to go visit coinmarketcap.com again that's coinmarketcap.com the second big trend is the emergence in the cryptocurrency space of simplicity my favorite cryptocurrency, Dash, is on the verge of unveiling on the world what they call evolution. And what that's going to do is that's going to make cryptocurrencies much easier to use. It'll be like PayPal. You'll be able to get, you know, some identifying phrase, maybe an email, something short that you'll be able to use as an address to send someone money or as an address to send someone a bill so you can get paid. Right? right now, a lot of people are using, you know, codes, QR codes and long address strings. Just imagine if you had a light wallet that allowed you to say, hey, Paul, what's your email address? I'll send you half a dash. Right? Folks, it's coming. According to reports, it's coming this year. 
right? Understand a lot of what goes on in crypto is open source. Once it hits the market, right? Other coins, other developers are going to scrutinize that technology. And they're going to find a way to incorporate it into their own coins. Right? The cryptocurrency space, simply put, is one of the fastest moving, most innovative spaces right in all of currency. So, let's talk about the third trend that you need to be aware of. And it's the emergence of the zero proof protocol. Right? You want privacy? Can you get more privacy than a zero proof protocol that doesn't require you to disclose your identity or the amount of money you're sending someone? In other words, cryptocurrency is becoming cash, right? Where you can spend it without leaving a trail. Right? The technology is actually here right now. Believe it or not, this coin isn't even in the top five in terms of market volume or market cap. It's Zcash. That's a coin you need to know. Zcash. And understand, other coins are positioning themselves to release their own zero proof products on the market. One of them is Privix. Right, Privix is not in the top 20 right now in terms of market cap. Now understand, because these great governments around the world, and yes, my tongue is in my cheek, have quietly declared a war on cash. Right, countries like India want to eliminate certain bills so they can better track and better tax your consumption, your use of the local currency. They want to know what you're doing with the money so they can get their cut, right? They'll tell you it's to prevent tax evasion. It's to prevent illicit activity, right? What they're really trying to do is to make sure they have a way to finance their own gluttonous overspending, right? They want to pay off their debts, their annual and ongoing deficits, right? Look around. Look at the number of countries right now that are carrying debt of greater than 50% of their annual GDP. Folks, sadly, that list is a long one. These governments want to find a way <clears throat> to stay in power to continue their overspending. They don't want you doing deals privately that carry a zero proof. So since there's a war on cash, there's going to be a premium on cash. Right? You're going to have some people say to you, hey, look, I know you owe me money. No, no, don't write a check. No, no. I don't want any of my information on the blockchain. Pay me in Zcash. Pay me in Privix. Right? So, let's just figure out quickly then what this all means in terms of investing in cryptocurrency. If you're about to take the plunge, and keep in mind today is May the 20th, 2017. Right? If you're going to take the plunge, before market conditions change. Right first, <clears throat> you need to take a very hard look at not only Ethereum, right, which quite frankly is being used more at times than Bitcoin. Just look at the market volume on coinmarketcap.com. You not only want to consider Ethereum and understand one of the reasons why it's being used is because of its capability. You have smart contract capability. What that means is that you can determine the terms and conditions for payment. The recipient doesn't get paid unless they've performed. 
you want to invest in Ethereum or at least consider it, you also want to invest in another crypto that has smart contract capability, Ethereum Classic. Understand there was a time where those currencies were won and then they split, right? Philosophically, the Ethereum Classic people believe that when you make a deal, you need to stick to the terms of the deal, right? The Ethereum group, by contrast, believes that if there's someone who has hacked the system, and has gotten some profits that the parties didn't expect them to get, right? That they should be able to step in at that point and nullify the transaction, right? Well, just understand Ethereum Classic right now has the fifth biggest market cap in the world of crypto. It has a market volume that's greater than that of many better known coins, right? I believe if you're interested in Ethereum, you should also be interested in Ethereum Classic, which you're getting at a much lower price, in part because of the split between the two, right? Everyone went with the established Ethereum. Even though Ethereum Classic has the same smart contract capabilities. Well, now Ethereum Classic is flourishing. It's catching back up to Ethereum. There's a lot of upside there for investors. Right next, another coin you need to consider is Dash. It has the best governance in the cryptocurrency space. Understand, if you own a thousand shares of Dash, and if you operate what's called a master node, and you need to Google these terms to get the details. I can't give all of the details here in this short video format. Then you get to vote <coughs> on Dash proposals. You and other people who own a thousand shares of Dash, who have what Nassim Taleb calls skin in the game. Right, so Dash is able to make quick decisions, increase the block size, decide whether some person proposing to create a Dash debit card is actually worth investing in. Right, you actually get to read the terms of the proposal every month, and Dash masternode holders are able to act quickly. Right, so while <clears throat> the currency is decentralized, right, understand there is governance by people with skin in the game, which makes the coin very hard to take over, right, because you would have to be dealing with masternode owners, right, who don't know each other, right, they don't and who have a vested interest in ownership stake in the betterment of the coin, right? And of course, when evolution drops, <clears throat> and keep in mind the reason why Dash was able to fund evolution and go forward with this ambitious project is because they have great governance that was able to invest in the project. Right? When evolution drops, Dash is going to have a functional capability and ease of use that almost no other cryptocurrency has. Let me also point out, too, that if you use a Dash wallet, you already know that Dash already has an ease of use that almost no other cryptocurrency has. Right? Well, they're going to innovate and improve on that. In my opinion, you need to look hard at Dash if you're going to invest in cryptocurrency. Let me make another point, too. Understand, these are all digital currencies. You can buy a fraction of a coin. If you want to invest $10 worth of your money in cryptocurrency, you can do that regardless of the price of the individual coin. In other words, if a coin is selling for 
I can say, you know what, I'm only going to buy $10 worth of this $50 coin. So don't be intimidated by the heavy coin prices. Right now, Bitcoin is well over $2,000 a coin. Right? You don't have to have $2,000 to invest in the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. You can do so fractionally. If you feel comfortable investing $20 in Bitcoin, invest $20 in Bitcoin. Right? You want to invest $20 in Ethereum? Invest $20 in Ethereum. What you want to do is to take the car for a test drive. Right? If you're nervous, if you don't quite trust cryptocurrency, if you feel that the technology is too nascent, then what you want to do is just invest a little bit. A little bit here, a little bit there, and then see how it works out. Learn about your wallet's capabilities. If you want one wallet that can hold more than one cryptocurrency, I like Jax myself, J-A-X-X. -X. You can download Jax using the Google Play Store, right? That's how widespread cryptocurrency is today. Finally, other cryptos you want to consider buying right now, given their technological edge, right? If you want privacy, as many people do, for a host of reasons, right? You're buying Viagra, you don't, you don't really want people to know you have a prescription, right? You have another medical condition, you want your medical privacy. Maybe you don't want your name being able to be traced back to you in the form of payment, right? Then take a look at Zcash, folks. That's out right now. That's out right now. Take a look at Zcash. Take a look at Privix, right? Privix is about to drop their zero coin protocol. Understand, Dash gives you enhanced privacy, the coin join technology, but that's not quite as robust as zero proof, right? So in sum, the coins I like, and I own all of these, right? Understand, I, I own some Bitcoin as well. Right, but the coins I like are Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Dash, Zcash, and Privix. Let me point out too, I also like Monero. That's another privacy centric coin. The problem I have with Monero is it's very hard to use Monero. They don't have the ease of use that some of these other coins have. Just understand, though, as someone who's been in cryptocurrency for a while, I also like Monero, although if you're going to use your coins for transactions, just understand Monero is a little bit more difficult to use than, let's say, a coin like Dash. Those are my thoughts today, May the 30th, 2017. Understand, things move fast in the space because of creative destruction. Right? New products, new technologies, new capabilities that consumers will gravitate to. So, if you're watching this video, let's say in September of 2017, what you need to do is to look at the developments in the cryptocurrency space that are closer to the date in which you watch the video. Just understand, this is one of the most creative innovative spaces in the entire economy and it's also one of the most significant steps forward technologically quite frankly during my lifetime right you're getting in in the top of the first inning it's like investing in my opinion in PCs in the very early 1980s right or in the internet when Netscape was being debuted right good luck just to understand the significance of the technology these are not a group of crackpots off at the side with some niche product no this product pretty soon in my opinion will take over banking 
That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.